installation guide has been created to assist you in installing a Harmar lift. If you have any questions after viewing this video, please contact Harmar's Technical Services Department. The AL300 Fusion Lift is designed to transport both power chairs and scooters. Estimated installation time is 45 minutes, but a first-time installation can take significantly longer. To install this lift, you will need the following tools available. Upon arrival, inspect the lift for any signs of damage in shipping. Contact the freight company immediately if any damage is noted. To begin installation, position the lift, still in the box, behind the vehicle. Be sure to align the hitch post with the vehicle's hitch. Locate the hitch adapter inside the box. Please note, this video shows a Class II hitch adapter with a single threaded hole. Your hitch adapter may vary depending on the application. Remove the bolt from the hitch adapter and slide the adapter into the vehicle's hitch receiver. The hitch adapter may be positioned pointing up or down depending on the distance from the bottom of the hitch receiver to the ground. For proper lift operation, it is important to ensure that the vehicle hitch is level to the ground. Tighten bolt and add locking nut to secure. Make two cuts on the box and remove the cardboard insert. This step will allow you to install the lift without ever having to manually lift it. Connect the power cord from the lift to the vehicle wiring harness. The lift is equipped with a second connector that is used to power the integrated license plate light. Attach it to the towing package connector that was installed as part of the hitch installation. If the towing package connector was not installed, it will be necessary to run a separate wire directly from the vehicle's license plate lights to the lift using a quick disconnect. Raise the lift to the upright position by grasping the outer tube. Make sure never to lift from the plastic motor box cover. This may cause damage to your lift. Align the lift with the hitch adapter. Insert the key and turn it to the on position. Power the lift down. This will raise the hitch post into the hitch adapter. Continue until the bolt holes are aligned. Insert two bolts and tighten. Power the lift up to a fully folded position. Remove the box. The AL300 is equipped with a wheel cradle where the scooter's back wheels will rest. This cradle must be loosened and lowered to the proper position. Remove the bolts on either end and lower the cradle bar. Once in place, reinsert and tighten the bolts. Begin by holding the nut beneath and tightening the bolt directly onto it. A wedge can be placed between the nut and the platform to finish tightening the bolts. The wheel cradle can also be adjusted to accommodate longer scooters. Power the lift down to the ground. The platform should unfold smoothly. The end of the platform furthest from the bumper will contact the ground first. The lift will pivot on the hitch post, allowing the entire platform to rest evenly on the ground. An important part of this lift is the patented folding mechanism, called the J-cam assembly. The cam assembly consists of one J-cam, held on by a shoulder bolt, two extension springs, and a stainless steel roller. The cam assembly is what allows the platform to sense weight and fold accordingly. When raising the lift, it is important to continue operation until you hear a ratcheting sound from the motor box, which is a clutch. This sound is normal and should be heard. Failure to raise the lift completely can cause damage to the lift. An anchor plate will be used for seats with a center seat post. Alternative mounting methods are available. To install the anchor plate, remove the seat and loosen the four seat plate mounting bolts. Slide the anchor plate in place between the seat and the mounting plate. Align the anchor plate with the center seat post. Retighten all bolts securely. Replace the seat. To transport a power chair, 
Drive the chair onto the center of the platform. Raise the lift. Once the lift is in its fully raised position, connect the four automatic retractors securely to the anchor plate. Once you have ensured a secure fit, the chair is ready for transport. To remove the chair, remove the four retractors and power the lift down. Power the chair off of the lift. To transport a scooter, power the scooter onto the platform so that the back wheels rest in the wheel cradle. Raise the platform. Once the lift is in its fully raised position, connect the four automatic retractors securely to the scooter. Please note that the platform will be pitched forward towards the vehicle. Once you have ensured a secure fit, the scooter is ready for transport. Remove the license plate from the vehicle and place it onto the integrated license plate holder. Installation of the AL300 Fusion Lift is now complete.